episode 11. We didn't get canceled. We are here still. Unfucking believable. It's the Black Boy Content Club, man. I am your resident supervillain along with your two other hosts. Y'all know how they do. They introduce them damn selves. Hey, it's your boy Moses Prem, man. It's Prem's Hood Cinema. Y'all know me. I'm an all-star. You know, uh... <laughs> I think I'm an all star too, but y'all niggas don't know me that well. I'm Chris, <laughs> <laughs> the you architect, all-star. Chris you Burns. All-star. I appreciate that. See, that's some stamp of approval. You're an all star. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, man. now, Shit. you're an all star. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, you know me from various pro wrestling things. And, you know, this is my real first four way into uh, pop culture shit. We having fun so far. We're the greatest podcast uh-huh, in the fucking world. Yeah. Man. Keep talking about this. Oh, We're the most yeah. undeniable podcast amongst niggas who steal their baby mama's ultimate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Making it, y'all. That's funny. Presented uh, to you by NAN, the National, <laughs> 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 the National Association for the Advancement of Niggas. Uh, and by- viewers like you. And niggas like you. And niggas like you. Wait, we got to do the wide camera. And niggas like you. That's All the right. new tag. That's oh, the new tag yeah. for like sure. <laughs> That's. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as hell, man. Already, we just start. <laughs> Yo, shout out. We understood like last week we was trying to go live. Yeah. <laughs> Shit went bad. Oh, uh, yep. we can't blame. <laughs> Look, California, Los Angeles in particular had crazy storms that was fucking up the internet everywhere. All right. So we tried to go live again, and the internet was like, now nah, you niggas just gonna chill this week. <laughs> and so people in the comments for everybody. Uh, why did it go live? Why y'all go live? We're having to go live. We said it 96 times. This is 97. I'm not getting to 100. <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, go live next week. Next week, we'll have everything set yeah, up. Yeah. So y'all be ready for uh, that. Here's, yeah, we really all going to have to leave our cribs extra fucking early then to go mm-hmm. live because next week is the Oscars. Oh, so word? trying oh, to get nah. to this motherfucker is oh, going shit. to be a nightmare. Yeah. That's the biggest blunt I've ever seen. I, yeah, that is a look whole at this, yeah. bro. Yeah, shout out to producer, yo, bro. He blessed me with this... Uh, c- Contraption, <laughs> it's like a monstrosity. It's got like a glass filter and everything. Oh it's shit, sweet bro. Damn. Yeah, shout out to uh, who is this brand? Ace High made it. So I'll tell you right now, I'm a I'm regular high. pre-roll. Yeah, I don't even. I'm know high. The fuck long enough the doors open, so I'm, I'm waiting on it to I'm hit just, me. I'm high. Uh, yeah, this is what the indigenous <laughs> people was smoking and shit. <laughs> Yo, let's just get let's just get into it before we go further. Yep. Y'all already know how we kick it off every week. How was your weeks? Oh man! Besides, uh, for oh, here you go this nigga about to brag uh, with the humble flex because I like because if, if you can see how he did it when he he cocked back his red bull, he was like this. He was like, uh, but he made sure he showed the shirt. I'm gonna fuck with Chris. For a I minute. didn't even do shit. Yeah, <laughs> yes, you did. We, we gonna did talk it subtly, to nigga. We go. We gonna talk about the Chris Rock shit. I know, but it was when you did it. Look, you had your yellow Red Bull, which by the way, y'all don't understand. I love this nigga like a brother. Yeah. And this nigga is so particular about his Red Bull, where if you go anywhere, he'd be like, "Hey man, I ain't got yellow." I don't do yeah. <laughs> ain't got yellow, yellow or nothing, bro. Yellow or nothing. Yellow or nothing. But no, bro. go ahead and see what you're gonna say, bro. It was a good week, man. Busy as shit because you know we had to prepare for the Chris Rock live special <laughs> taping for Netflix. Hell yeah. And um, that went off it was seemingly without a hitch. Um, but we'll we'll talk about it, you know. And then I had my man Country Wayne out on tour, killing it, mm-hmm. killing the, the obscure ass parts of North Carolina. He went to Greenville, <laughs> went Damn. to Fayetteville, sold out. Those both. ain't obscure though. Okay. I mean, you can't even really get to. I mean, as, far as, like as, that. As, yeah. as country niggas, yeah, country no niggas airport. know where they are. Right. Right. No, country niggas know, but they also know you got to fly into a place yeah. and drive, drive your ass yeah, right. <laughs> to them places. You know what I mean? So shout out to Wayne. Shout out to Chris Rock. Um, you know, we, we we doing things, man. Prim, what about you, broski? My week was busy, too, man. I've been chilling, bro. Uh, I was at the fucking Kids' Choice Awards randomly yesterday. Shout they out invited to the you kids. out? Yeah, no. Uh, Rooster uh, Teeth? No, Roxy Hayes. You, yeah, you I know, know Roxy, Roxy yeah. is a comedian. Yeah, shout out to uh, Roxy Hayes. She's a friend of the show. She randomly hit me up. Was like, I got some tickets, bro. You trying to go to get slimed or whatever? Mm-hmm. We weren't that close to get slimed, but mm-hmm. like <laughs> that shit was pretty lit, though. They dunked Melissa, Melissa McCarthy in like a... A vat of slime. She, nice. She was taking a while getting back up. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> she was lit, bro. Lil Uzi was there. He got slimed. And no shit. shit. Yeah, everybody was getting slimed. They named Adam Sandler the king of comedy. Excuse me, what? Which, which these are children, but yeah. also it's like they were playing reels of like all Adam Sandler movies and with like. Nine out of ten were like rated R, right, like hard R ass movies. Like, yeah, and they had to really scour. They had to really scour to get like kid friendly parts of that shit. Like, totally. They show Billy Madison in the classroom, like, like right, right. Like, <laughs> like little kids can't, can't even, be watching that. Yeah, fucking you can't movie. watch. Who the fuck? <laughs> Which kid decided that, bro? These kids don't know nothing about that hey, shit. Man, but that shit was racism. Lit, <laughs> 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 comedy now, huh? Yeah. 
I ain't see him up there with Bernie and, and <laughs> you Steve know what I mean? And, and you ain't see you ain't see him on tour with Steve Harvey introduced it. Could you imagine that? Yeah, it, yeah can you imagine the it's it's Bernie back and then like kind of is Adam Sandler come out with his guitar and you're like, what the fuck is going on? Don't be wrong. I think Adam's funny as no, shit, it's but it's just it. that combination. I just want to see Steve Harvey introduce him. Yeah. Y'all ready? Charlotte, North Carolina, for the comedy. He hails from Saturday night. Y'all beautiful. My white nigga. Funny, yeah, funny Jewish boy. My white nigga. Adam motherfucking Sandler. I wonder now if he would have caught a brick like uh, your boy Morgan J. When he tried to be on oh, that yeah, black that ass. ass. Oh, wow. Look, what? shout out yeah. to the homie Morgan J. For those who don't know, his nah, newest cast member while and out. Morgan J is a comedian who does a lot with his guitar and everything. He makes songs on the spot. Okay, he got I a couple him, joints. Yeah. Him, yeah. But they put Morgan J's <laughs> team, got him to do New Year's Eve back in my city in Chicago with D. Ray Davis and a bunch mm. of cast. At the Ari Crown Theater. At the Ari Crown Theater. Now, here's the thing. If you know anybody that's a fan of Prim and from the crib, you understand that Ari Crown on New Year's yep. is the most <laughs> niggas of niggas shit wow. ever. Morgan J can do certain crowds, but Morgan J's not built for that crowd. Yeah. And look, every comedian, there's not a single one that will, if they tell you otherwise, they're a fucking liar. Every comedian has caught an L, right? Mm -hmm. We all call L's. We done bombed hard to the point where we reevaluate our careers. <laughs> Morgan J caught an L so bad. He needed to. Yo, our producer is the worst person in history. I want to sell to see <laughs> the, just what I did. the producer said he is built for white Etsy selling women. Stop it. Yo. Stop it. But Morgan J need to fire. Not Morgan J taking this. His team took this L. That's what I said. I said his, he need to fire everyone around his so what happened? He did stand up and they didn't like it. Well, he, he that's what he does. Them? His stand up is with the guitar playing. As the soon as they niggas booed? saw that guitar, did bro. It turned yeah. into Def Comedy. It turned into oh, Apollo. Wow. Nigga, it turned into boo. You know oh, what I mean? No. It was bad. Like actual you, booze, though. You know it's bad <laughs> when you got <laughs> damn nigga. When when you have to address it in a post after, yeah, that's when you know it's bad. Like you can't oh, yeah. when you can't that's just bomb crazy. and then, and then move so on. Because that's the thing, right? That's the thing. As a comic, you supposed to bomb. All right, cool. I think about this shit for the night in the car yeah. or whatever. How I yeah, get it's to the not crib. supposed to be the highlight of the night. No, the nigga had to do a post, a post. story. You got to talk. To <laughs> I want to thank everybody for coming out. And I'm sorry. <laughs> People was calling. I'm safe, him. everybody. Don't worry. Right, 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 right. I'm alive. <laughs> but again, yeah, it happens, man. It happens. It just. They, they shouldn't have put him in that situation. That yeah, but like, what happened? Does he, did he get it on tape? Oh, it's on tape. It? Okay. Oh, it's absolutely, it's absolutely on tape. I gotta check that shit out. You know, bro. once niggas started booing other niggas, <laughs> put their phone out immediately. <laughs> first nigga, yeah. hey, well, you gotta do it right. First nigga, yeah. What am I thinking? Yeah. Say yeah. Do the booing. Boo. Yeah, niggas pull they shit <laughs> out. Like, niggas that, you, know, you do it. You niggas be like this. Go boo again. Boo. <laughs> niggas, you know that most inconspicuous raise up of the immediately. Song, nigga, that little lean back uh, with it. Like, let me go get this. That's yeah, why like, Dave be <laughs> having, having niggas lock their phone the fuck yeah. up. Because Dave is called. Look, Dave, Chris, yeah. Bill Burr, all the greats that we know of now, even back then, have caught it at venues. Yeah. They have caught it. So no one is immune to it. No. The thing is, we always say, this and I but man bro will because when we talk about Chris Rock I'm gonna get into this comedy is subjective right right at the end of the day it's are the people coming to see you funny the majority of them right so now when people come out to see you specifically they have to know you funny yeah okay, yeah but this is D Ray's New Year's joint so you know D Ray you know pretty much most of the people on there but Morgan Jay's a new face to this mm -hmm. so you're not expecting that but when you catch this L you be like, all right, well, where did that go wrong? Yeah, and then quick you, note to MTV, just because they on wilding out. <laughs> does yeah, not you mean think, they yeah. can do it. Just cause, of, yeah, because you got views don't mean you can. Don't you mean niggas I mean? fuck with you no, like you that. Can, you can Ooh, I know a better slogan. You got every audience. I know a better slogan. Hey, can I get the camera real quick? <laughs> Thank you. Watch this. Hey, MTV, <laughs> just because they're on Wild and Out does not mean they're endorsed by NAM, the National Association <laughs> for the Advancement of Niggas. Hilarious. And niggas like you. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's just like. It, it's just a thing like you got to know the crowd and shouts out to producer yo says white girls love to hear their name harmonize hello <laughs> Bethany like they love shit like that yeah, is he funny though you Morgan's I mean, funny he's Morgan's funny Morgan's a funny dude yeah. in the context of where Morgan mm. fits at okay. yeah it's just you know yeah, it don't it translate was, to it every room it just wasn't funny there yeah 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 exactly exactly <laughs> cause you know a lot of motherfuckers be like oh these niggas just ain't look there's a lot of people who 
we talk, we've been talking about comics for a minute, so I guess we'll go into it first. Let's get the, right to it. Okay. So there are a lot of comics that are held up to high, high regard. Dave yeah. Chappelle, Chris Rock, Bill Burr, Amy Schumer, Sarah Silverman, Wanda, Wanda Sykes, and so many others. Now, all of those, Jerry Seinfeld, all of those I named are not universally liked by everybody. Absolutely not. There's not a comedian on this planet. There has never been and never will be Me. a comedian <laughs> on this world that every single person likes. And that is cool with it. Yeah. But now we're talking about one of them and Chris Rock. Chris did something that I've been calling historic that people are like, oh, he ain't reinvent the wheel. I'm like, I don't understand the historic value of this. I tweeted this out a couple of days ago after the transcripts of his bits leaked. Mm -hmm. I said, y'all mad that Chris Rock is using a historic moment to talk about a historic moment that happened to him. I said, y'all clearly don't know how stand-up comedy works, let alone preparing a special. And people try to say, oh, it's not historic. I said, yo, he is the first comedian to do a special live on Netflix. That is what's called history. Yeah, Am I right or wrong? Yeah. He is the only person to have the dog shit slapped out of him <laughs> live at the Oscars. That is called what? History. Right. So in the context of the usage, it works. Rock special dropped last night. Chris, I need you to be unobjective. Well, and I say that because we talk about what you do. Wait a minute. No, no, no. No, no. And here's, but no. Need the reason I preface this. No, the reason I'm prefacing this is for the listeners and the viewers. Yeah. We know the three of us in here know you. Me, Prim, and producer know you. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying that because they're gonna be viewers and listeners like, well, he worked for this and he do that. Oh no, so I, I that. readily admit that. I'm biased as shit. Chris Rock is a genius, motherfuckers. You understand me? One of the greatest stand up comedians of all time. Watch you that shit. Brilliant. Watch the fuck out of it. That's Chris Rock. Selective out rage right now on leave Netflix. Leave it on all day and you know shit. Just, just, just loop that bitch. If you, you took the shit. bias part out, nigga, how would you... What would you say as a set of special? I mean... Listen, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say this. So... And it's a yeah, it's whatever. It's a humble brag, I guess. Yeah. But it is by the nature of what I do. I've been... I've seen him now several times on tour this year. And he was doing close to three hours. On each show. And so what was most exciting for me was seeing how he took that three hours and truncated it into a mm -hmm. live hour special with the live as bits being polished to the point that they were, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Because, you know, we was some of the first to see what he had to say about right, the right. Will Smith shit. And we were locking up the phones and all that. So they didn't really get mm -hmm. out what he was saying. Right. But, you know, it was like a five minute thing as part of the, you know, the tour mm. material. And then when it came out last night and it was more like 15 mm -hmm. minutes, yeah, it was like, like, cause that was, I mean, that was amazing to me. Cause you saw the emotion take you over. You saw him. Yes, you did. You know what I mean? Yes, like on tour, you know, he just kind of had some jokes about it and referenced it, blah, 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 blah. Some of the shit he said in the special, but then last night you could tell he was just like, we, I'm getting this the fuck off my chest. Uh -huh. I think it's also so, yeah, I, I this live, and you bitches is. I guarantee y'all watching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah, that's what yeah, it was. Definitely. This live, 100%. I know you watch. You those are my favorite well, so memes. I didn't, so I didn't see it live. I caught it this morning. Yeah. Is it? Is it did they edit it heavy or no? No, 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 no. Okay. We, we, we. we did he the comedy no store more? and Netflix had a thing last night where we all watched it live with the feed, and then we did like a presentation with Ronnie Chang and and a bunch mm -hmm. of comics beforehand and Dana Carvey and uh David Spade David never... Spade afterwards and so all that was happening live cuz I was e even being in the know I'm thinking it was like oh they going fucking you know delay, have this shit on a delay or something right yeah. Nah, man, damn, they just, we, we watched the live up. feed and it was, as it was happening, it was happening. Damn, so man, damn. yeah, he just, you, I, I mean, look, he fucked up the, the one joke, uh, the, what you the, call the, it, yeah, concussion yeah, joke yeah, yeah, did, at yeah, first. So joke. <laughs> we, we, yeah, it was, what, 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 what you saw is what he did right there in the moment. Yeah, and that's that, pretty yeah, fucking that was impressive. masterful, bro. Yeah. That yeah. Shit was masterful. And also it's, it's the testament to what, again, a stand up comedy special for those who don't understand. It's never a one. This is why it was also a big deal. Yeah. This is one time live. That's it. You don't get a second chance to go live right, right, right. to do it over and get the same reaction and feel it. Just inside baseball. Jay knows this. Like when people film a special, there's multiple shows. Yep. And Just they the take, one they take the best cuts from each oh yeah and wear the cobble same together and yeah yeah I yeah. tell everybody watch any special on netflix right now i watch a couple of dave Chappelle specials yeah look at the front row of the crowd it just pay attention to the front row 
you can tell it's different. It's the same jokes. Yeah, yeah. With the same outfit, but different crowds. Yeah, and that's okay. why they're careful about that. That's why they're always like, don't, you can't go to the bathroom during the taping. You can't, because you fuck up the continuity. Oh, yeah. And hilarious. people can tell that it's okay, different that's cuts. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. So you watched it this morning, you said? Yeah, I liked it. I, I fuck with it. Uh, it was weird he shot it in Baltimore. That was probably fucking... Was that like a subliminal diss, or what do you think that was? Because Jada Pink is from Baltimore. I didn't right? even put that together I found, I heard yeah. that last night. until like, last night when yeah, somebody, no, my somebody, coworkers yeah, was somebody like, mentioned it. Yeah, and I was like, damn, okay. But because I would have expected that. I mean, if they was like heavily supporting Jada like that, they would have bo- tried to boot his nigga or some shit like that. But we did multiple shows in Baltimore. We did the regular tour stop in Baltimore. Mm. Then he came back and did two test run shows two weekends ago and then did this Damn. one. So they was they okay. was coming out to see your boy. I mean, yeah, if I, yeah that's my hometown, bro. Shout out to Baltimore. Bro. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Y'all yeah, fuck with Chris hope- that hard? I, I guess so, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 hopefully, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Hopefully that's a... You know, that'll this will heat up Baltimore comedy scene sure. a little bit, bro. You know what I mean? So I'm a I'm a student of the game first and foremost. Yeah. More than just being blessed to have been in this career 13 years and traveling the country doing this shit. So I've always been a fan of Chris Rock. I've watched the evolution of that man from his specials. But Chris, I told I said this on Twitter. Chris Rock did what Chris Rock does. Some people trying to say, oh, his jokes dated and this. Stuff. I said, Chris Rock has always talked about the hot current issues in right. whatever special he does. The fact is, you say it's dated because you keep hearing about it on social media. Chris Rock don't use social media. Right. The outlet that he uses is the stage. That's correct. Yeah, I haven't even seen people's reactions yet. Have you been, oh, have bro, you been I've paying been, attention to people's that's, reactions? That's the hardest part as a comic to watch social media. You know what I'm saying? Between Twitter, you get a bunch. Look. Everybody's allowed to criticize any and everything. That is fair. Like I said earlier, comedy is subjective. Everybody ain't going to like this shit. But it's motherfuckers that need to be honest. It's not that you didn't think it was funny. You just don't like Chris Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just don't like Chris Rock. And you still mad that you well, mad I mean, at- you said comedy is subjective. You know what I mean? You're the one who said it. So yeah. you could not like the jokes or whatever. No, no, that's fine. But there's <laughs> something, but there's a there's that bias that goes into it. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you don't like somebody off jump, mm-hmm. you're going to hate whatever they do no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, everybody hates We got Chris. a homie. That, <laughs> we got a homie, hates we got a homie that if you bring up classic hip hop to this nigga and it ain't got no, no new niggas in it, he hate everything about it. And he's the same <laughs> yeah, nigga that was true, hating yeah. on the special. He was saying yeah. Yeah. But, but you see what I'm saying? But it's like there's certain people like that. And again, we love our homeboy for sure. Yeah. But I watched it all through social media. I think, again, watching him flub that joke... And then let you know was the most humanizing shit in that moment. Yeah. But also, like you said earlier, Chris, it's the it's the emotion that came out. Absolutely. I got tired of hearing people saying, damn, he waited this long to tell it. I said, see, this is how I know y'all don't understand stand up. Why is he st- he ain't over it? The man took a moment that happened, made money off of it, and is still making money off of yeah. it. Why in the fuck wouldn't you? Yeah, well, nah. th- th- yeah that's just so dumb. It's like, listen. Chris is not a stupid person. You know what I mean? He's not. And also, when the shit happened, when he got slapped, he the tour dates were getting ready to start literally a couple weeks later. So the tour was already locked in. Tour was locked in. We were ready to go. Okay, just so people can understand that, Yeah. by the way, because people probably are thinking, oh, well, he waited till this happened, then he made a tour. So just people know in advance, the tour was locked in. We had, mm-hmm. we had it all planned out. For months and months in advance. Well, yeah, I think people are so used to like, you know, the internet culture and like the the exactly they right. wanted that shit to happen like the next As Jay day. As Jay said, they like, just don't understand stand up like comedy. Like that shit, ha- and like in, in internet years, that shit happened like twenty years. Right, right, right. right, right. Exactly. <laughs> but like yeah. the nigga had, like I said, he had two two plus hours of material yeah. that he needed to get off. And I, you know, when they were asking him about it behind closed doors, he would say, "Nigga, I got a whole act. I got to figure out. I can't uh, yeah, I thought write the time, some yeah, new I thought shit. The timing was perfect. Yeah, yeah I can't I write some new shit perfect, for these yeah. niggas because they want me to talk about it. Plus, I ain't over it yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga, just hit me. Yeah, I think it's low key. <laughs> like, yeah, I think it's it would be low key cheesy to do it too soon. Also, like, yeah, it, it would. He you know, he crafted it. He worked on it. It definitely would not hit the same. Yeah, he got a <laughs> no pun intended. Nah, <laughs> But yeah, I I don't know. I like I thought the way he handled it was great. Um, I will say this: it still sound like a nigga who didn't get his lick back. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely, he's definitely, yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, yeah, dude. Go ahead. I'm no, always I, like, yeah. No, I thought it was funny. Man. I agree with him. I also don't fight in front of yeah, white he people. He definitely didn't let all that steam out, though. He <laughs> yeah, still had yeah. a way, that way, that way that more smoke. light was like, I still got more to say. I wish the sticker was here right now. You know what I mean? No, yeah. I, I, yeah, some of the highlights for me, I like the uh, the Jay Z Beyonce joke or whatever, where he's like, uh, if Beyonce worked at Burger King, she could Brilliant. still marry Jay Z. She could still marry Jay Z. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Still could work at Burger King. Be a rap. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> and a little call back up. I don't need another rapper mad at me. Yeah, right. The way he kept calling it back, uh-huh. I like that part. I again for me, the way he talked. This is something. The biggest thing was. The way he talked about that last tip, the shit was great for me. When he talked about uh, Meghan Markle and how Britain being you know, racist and shit like that, but with the last tip for me, he said everything that the internet has been saying for the longest before the slap. Yeah. When well, that man says Charlemagne called you a bitch, uh-huh. the drink champs, yeah, he, he said went y'all in. went on national the TV and talked about your affair. Yeah. He said everybody called you a bitch and I'm the one you hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is true. I get it. I said it first, too. And you can look at the reaction I did. I said, yo, Will Smith stuck up for his wife. And I said, I also said, Will been catching shit for the longest. Chris was just the unlucky person. Yeah. And you know how you have that boiling point and whoever there in that moment just catch it. Chris was the one. Mm-hmm. But I but at the same time, yeah, Chris Rock said like he picked a nigga he knew he could he beat. He and shit, so he wasn't too. he no, wasn't just out there. When you got he Kareem just snap, Abdul he was Jabbar like, yeah, all right. <laughs> after the shit being like <laughs> Kareem literally said, if I had been standing up there and made the joke, he wouldn't have came up to yeah, me. Right? Kareem, 80-something years old. Like, 80, 70 <laughs> years old slap with bad ass. knees. <laughs> and, he's, and he even said that basically Will is a punk for what he did. That's mm-hmm. crazy to me. Yeah, no, nah, definitely. But uh, fucking, oh, damn, what was I going to say? Producer uh-huh. Will, you, did you like this special? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah! Oh man! Yeah, yeah that, that, yeah. That, that. I, like I said, I, I like it. You know what I'm saying? Again, I think I knew I knew he was gonna press buttons with certain shit he talked about. Yeah, I knew when he said how he talked about woke shit. I said I knew he was gonna press buttons with that. When he brought up the trans shit, I was like, he gonna press buttons automatically before anybody fucking listens. Yeah, I like this take on that though, because it could get very boomer y or whatever. Yeah, but I liked the, I liked where he went with that. I like, yeah, he, yeah, he, he, he said if his dad transitioned, how it'd be. Shit. A lot of people were going to think, oh, this is just an old dude. And I'm like, no, what he's telling y'all is black households that you don't fucking have experience in. Uh-huh. Because that's the absolute. And some of these older black households, that's how the fuck it is. Is it right? No. Is it wrong? No. And I say no because everyone is raised a different way and a yeah. different thought process. You have to learn and evolve. So he's saying back in the day how it would have been. Well, he's, he's holding the mirror up. He's holding mm-hmm. the fucking like, mirror listen, up. It's like, listen, you know, we... We as a community are quick to call people out on their biases and bullshit mm-hmm. and et cetera, et cetera. We got them just as much. Too, yeah. That was the whole thing yeah. with the Meghan Merkel thing. It's like, yeah, it's hard to be a black girl to be accepted by a white family. <laughs> bring a white girl home. home. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure if we all had the conversation of you can't use Macomb, don't bring her home. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Or the, my, the classic one, oh, mom, dating a new girl. Does she look like, like me? me? It's like, she oh, look like does she have to use sunscreen? <laughs> mm-hmm. she, mama, what you mean? We all got to use sunscreen. You know what the fuck I yeah, mean. She have to use sunscreen. I've been dealing with That's this shit since 2006. My first white girl. Shout out to fucking uh, Ruthie. Man. <laughs> my first yeah, white girl. Shout, shout out, out to Jessica Minor out in jo- Joliet, man. No, he didn't use the last name. Yeah, so, <laughs> hey, man, what we talking about? Remembering names and shit. I wanted to get my first. God damn, say blessings son. to you. Uh, thank Fine, you for putting son. me on the God damn. Prem, you'll get there one day with the white girls. You'll get there one day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm the white girl slave. Yo, is that right? Oh yeah, this nigga's the male Buffy. No, no, no. <laughs> no, this nigga's the male Buffy, the white girl slave. I need a picture of proof around here with a sword. I love this, it. <laughs> that's a film reel, nigga. Yeah, but no, overall, you know. Yeah, we all fuck with it. Yeah, yeah so we, we all, all fuck, fuck with it. it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I with it, yeah. You fuck with it, and it, I want to. My thing is, I now want this to be the the the, the vehicle that allows more live stand up special. Yeah, yeah, is that yeah? How is how was that? Like, when did they come up with that idea, bro? Like, I that's mean, the, Chris, that's he's a like game look, changer a little bit. Look, Dave comes out with specials a lot. Since he came back, there's always new specials dropping on Netflix, and the conversation around them like starts and then dissipates mm-hmm. pretty quickly. Yeah, and Chris was like, "What can I do that's gonna 
have it last a little bit longer. Yeah, 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 for sure. And it's it's not the first live special ever. They've done it on HBO and things like that. But I was just saying, yeah, for Netflix. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's a because it's Netflix. That might help them. Yeah, yeah. And also, you know, the the live specials on HBO, the numbers alone of subscribers on Netflix. I mean, it's just a different fucking thing. Yeah, what were the numbers on the 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 special last night? You know, Ronnie Chang made a joke about this. As we'll never know. (laughs) Netflix don't fucking Netflix will never. They couldn't even. They don't give up no statistics. Look, you got your best bet is like, all right, how many tweets do I see? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Multiply that times six hundred thousand. Yeah, and then you know, say all this other shit. Create an algorithm and shit for yourself. It's a lot though. Just trust us. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a hell of a lot. Uh, I'm sure it was though. Yeah. And so yeah, I mean, look, Chris Rock. I, who would you want to? We're gonna move on after this, but who would you want to see do a live one next? Probably uh, Mr. J. Washington. <laughs> yeah. like see Mr. Yeah. J. Washington get in the live Netflix. I'm gonna special. tell you something. I would love to have it. I claim that I received that in Jesus' name as a Christian. <laughs> um, I had a couple people ask me why I didn't put a special out, and I felt like number one, if I put a special out, I don't want to just put some shit out on YouTube just to say I put some shit on YouTube. Yes. No, I just don't. It's no knock to every... I know a bunch of comedians that have done it. Some people that have gotten a lot of followers, a lot of views from it, and others who just have had some shit on YouTube. Yeah, I don't want to just do that to do that. Mm-hmm. I want a special <laughs> to be just that. Special. Right. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I like want my special house. to be special. No, I get what you're saying. Though. Real talk, saying. though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you was a little dramatic with it. Though, you got you know? it. Because again, <laughs> niggas have taken, bro, the amount of niggas that have taken the word, the value of that word away. Yeah. Yo, I got a special on YouTube. I got just, you don't. Yeah, you just got a setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah, I get what you're saying, though. You just yeah. got a setup. Because you got a long set or whatever. Yeah, you got an hour set. set. And I'm not like, said, I'm not hating on anybody that's done it. Yeah. Because especially if you finance that shit out of your own fucking pocket. Right. But I just wanted to be able when I do it, it's gonna mean some shit. You gonna have and the intro and everything where you like walk the you camera gotta, walking behind nigga, you. Yeah, yeah. You I have want some Wu Tang. I want my shit coming in. I want my wrestling entrance music to play. I want <laughs> shit like I was in a wrestling match. All of a sudden, I go oh, in the back and, and be like, I got my whole intro. Yeah, your changes in my shit to get ready to go do my special. And that's why, that's like, so up, many. Oh, you, yeah, you'd already planned this shit out. You got this storyboarded. That's why so many like comics that you know are legendary. Their first special is so lit because like. That's the culmination of their career up to that point. Right. Mm-hmm. And then they put it out as years and years of work coming out. Then the next special, that's the network and a team yeah, that's their and next, being like, yeah. well, you need another one. He's like, nigga, the first one took me 13 years to write. Right. You want me to write another one in a year and a half? Like, you know and what I'm saying? people get mad mm-hmm. when the second ones, many, some people's second ones aren't as good. They're like, damn, why is this one out? Because the fucking, the, the machine now pushed this one out. Yeah, yeah I heard that with music too. Like, you have all the time in the world to make yeah, your yeah, first yeah. album exactly. or whatever. Exactly. You know what I mean? We gonna make some history though. What's that? Jay Washington, you perform on the 23rd of March? Actually, I performed before then. I was going to tell you, you can come out Wednesday, this Wednesday, and see me at the Improv hosting. This Wednesday, you're yep. going to be at the Improv? Yep, this Wednesday. I'm coming to see motherfucking oh, Jay Washington do stand up. It's going to be, we talk about Chris Rock making history. We making history <laughs> this Wednesday, <laughs> Hollywood Improv. Wait, wait. What Literally. time? <laughs> is producer Yo putting it into the calendar. Yeah, I'm hosting the 10 o'clock show with the Improv. I'll be there. 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. Here 10 we go. <laughs> 10 a.m. Can't. Uh, Brunch show. Late. J for late <laughs> or late J. That's what we working on. We so, go. I'm gonna this be gonna be the one. This gonna be the one. So let's move. That's gonna be the one. <laughs> Cool, this nigga here. Whatever. <laughs> let's uh, go. Let's uh, move, switch on now. We're talking about this weekend, another joint drop. Yes. It's been a big one. Highly More black touted. on black violence. That's Man. right. <laughs> Man. But for the ladies, this was the black on black violence they wanted. Shit, like, I wanted that shit. Them niggas, I was in the gym early this morning, oh, bro. Nigga, Them wait, fucking about, Creed dude, movies we every at, time, we bro. Talk Creed, we're every talking time, Creed 3, bro. y'all, just so we yeah, know. Yeah. Michael B. Jordan's directorial debut, which that's the biggest part of this all. Yes. It's just his directorial debut. And I said it in my review on my YouTube channel and every place else. This means a lot because this will be the telling thing. The numbers already say, yes, it's going to happen. But this is going to be the tale if he gets Black Panther 3. Because Cougar oh, wants to step aside. Okay. He oh, would be no. the front runner to be the director. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I mean, I think I think he would add a decent flavor. But he I mean you shouldn't it. be, but you shouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't fuck with Disney though. I wouldn't jump right into that. I think you should do his own. I mean, he understands the story. He understands the tone. Sure. He's been with Cougar. He's been with, you know, Ryan you, gonna be in his ear. The whole time. How do you think he did with this? Do you think well, he? Well, that's what I'm saying. Let's get into okay. that. Let's okay. get into so that. Let's go. That's the, okay, that's let's do that is. again. Your, let's start with Prim. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Your, yeah, your yeah. overall thoughts on Creed Three? Um, I I fuck with it actually. Uh, the 
the pacing was a little bit weird. It was weird. They they waited till like the last ten minutes for the fight. But yeah. was, is that a is that a Rocky thing? I don't remember. I mean, the other Rocky sort movie. of. I yeah. mean, it generally, it, it all ever all the movies culminated in a big, yeah, big like, fight. Yeah, but, of course. But yeah, yeah. But I think, yeah, I think overall that shit was pretty dope. Though it's weird that Jonathan Majors is like in two movies, the two biggest movies out right now, being the bad guy. And I shit. something we talked <laughs> about. I think two episodes ago. This movie to me was a prequel to Ant Man. To Ant Man, <laughs> it's just a <laughs> when the nigga to learn about time. Right here, the nigga literally shit. said, "I don't have the, enough the time." time. <laughs> yes, he did. And yeah. then when he's sitting in the locker yeah, room, he's, like, he's like, "I know what I must do." He was thinking about that. And he was like. You know what? I'm gonna hit a rim. That's gonna be an older white bitch. <laughs> Time is a cage, nigga. I, I got her. Time, Time is a cage, cage, and I'm gonna break through. <laughs> I, I mean, you yes. said that shit, bro. But yeah, overall, yeah, I fuck with it. Uh, I like that final fight. Like that was when you know when they were like the 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 ring was changing around the room. Like, yeah, we put yeah. They was in like the void or something. We didn't something. say it, but fucking spoiler alert. Like we we don't give a we don't do that here. We give spoilers. spoilers. So first of all, you bad. fucking with us and been here for the minute. Every movie we've talked about has been full yeah, of fucking yeah, yeah. spoilers. Just so, so you know. Well, I mean, you can't really spoil it because you kind of you kind of know exactly. Right. Right. Yeah, it's right, 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 right. But it's yeah, just going through it and seeing how it transpires. You know what have been a spoiler is that Jonathan Majors actually won the fight at the end. Yeah, I mean. His, you could have you could have left that a mystery. He yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He could have won. No, he wasn't going to win though. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. You know, he's not going to win the fucking fight. <laughs> yeah, no. it, well, it, the movie would have fell apart for me if he won the fight. Yeah, that would have been. Yeah, like how do you even? I'm like, I get it. You've been mad. You've been in jail for a long time. Wanting to fight this nigga, just the heavyweight champion of the motherfucking world, dog. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's crazy. they say he 26 and one, supposedly the greatest fight boxer that ever was. He's got the stock of Apollo Creed, who before him was considered yeah. the greatest boxer of all time. I don't give a fuck about your jail training, nigga. You ain't fighting. <laughs> <laughs> beating hey, someone hey, to that, uh, that nigga is Damien. That nigga fought Felix the champ at the time, and yeah. he sparred with him. And then you had shouts out to Wood Harris. Wood Harris was like, "Hey, this <laughs> nigga's fight with a chip on his shoulder." Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah I get. And I, was, I think they handled it well. Where it's like, oh, he kind of cheated to win the first fight against Felix. But yeah, and, and, but I, what I appreciate about when he does fight Michael B. Jordan, it's like he don't just. It's it's not like he's beaten. Creed's ass, and then he has to come back. This guy is is pretty even until yes. the end, and then Creed finishes it. It's like, yeah, that's how that fight would go. This yeah, nigga would true. not, the champ would never be in danger bro, like that. I'm gonna tell yeah, you I thought sh- they were. Go- oh yeah, go I'm ahead. sorry, go ahead, bro. No, I thought they were gonna do it like, cause I thought they were gonna like make it go by points or some shit. Like he's yeah, gonna yeah, beat yeah, him yeah, by yeah, fundamentals yeah. or some weak ass shit like that. <laughs> yeah, right, I'm glad right, I got right. a good ass knockout. Yeah, I'm like him, he yeah. would have beat fucking tear this nigga apart <laughs> in real what, life. But that's what Duke told him. Duke was like, you got to stop being a boxer. Yeah, because he was gonna try to beat him by as a uh, boxer. Right. Because like as long as I don't get knocked out and it's really punches landed versus thrown. So as long as I can beat him on that, I can beat him. And then Duke was like, hey, my fucker, you need yeah. to be a fighter right yeah. now. Where Jonathan Majors did beat his ass. Is fucking acting. That nigga's Ooh, an actor. That motherfucker's yeah. an actor. This Hell every yeah. facial expression, every twitch of his fucking eyebrows. He put on a Crenshaw I district accent. That West Coast yeah, accent. I was like, nigga, you ain't like, from a, home, yeah. that nigga's head, that, I want to see the nigga cut of this movie. Shout out <laughs> to me, Martin Morrow. We were saying that me, Martin, Jason K, and the homie watched. Was like, because there's got to be a nigga cut of this. Because he didn't say bro every single time in the original version. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, nigga, nigga, listen. But even from the beginning, where he's like, hey, y'all, you don't remember me? I'm like, damn, nigga, that's what all my homies talk like <laughs> that from Lamar. Nigga, bro. like, oh, it, it was like, see, that. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's a fantastic beautiful. bro. Yeah, and these niggas was. Ripped, bro. I'm sorry. Pause, <laughs> yeah, look, the niggas was shredded, day, bro. All night. Hey, but yeah, I the niggas training showed I him look, my, pulling my a shit. plane. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, legit yeah. pulling <laughs> a plane. No, the the chick I was next to watching the movie was yeah, squirming and yeah. moving. I was like, "Hey, yo, yeah, you got to chill the fuck out. Sure, right? Calm down. Yeah, That's funny, goddamn. So. We'll take Did care of that. Was I the only one that Was I the only one who thought he was gonna try to fuck his girl? No, he definitely was. Yeah, they okay, I, think I was, he was like, okay, yeah, yeah. I was like, am I reading this wrong? Because he was like, so you know what I'm saying? You and Donnie. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's coming for everything. He's saying I'm coming for everything. I'm coming for your true. bitch. I want your house. I want your goddamn. Yeah, I want right. every goddamn. I want your daughter. I'm going to be your daughter father and shit. <laughs> and this is, oh, man. And then we laughed, though. 
Because was it me? Or did this nigga get rich and fresh real quick? <laughs> that shit was instant. Well, you got to remember, That's what I said about the yeah. pacing, though. So, yeah, that's what I said. So you got to remember this, like, though. Hey, yeah. bro, you got to stretch some of this shit out. No, you this know nigga, I mean? nigga, 18 years, I've been wanting this bread. Remember. <laughs> remember how Adonis was talking about how the fight he was promoting with Felix and Drago. Sure. He was getting the money up, right? Right. So right. once Drago can't do it, which, by the way, this nigga Dame is a genius. Yeah. This nigga dropped the, he had the homie from the joint yeah, 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 do yeah. this shit. But once Drago had to be replaced, he gets Drago's. Pe- you know well, yeah, I'm saying? sure it was a big payday. But I'm saying they could have used like a, a going right. to the mall montage. Right, right, right. Like this nigga instantly had a and click. Like he on the beach with his homies. The nigga got the diamond. You got the diamond chain real quick too. Yeah, you've been gone for 17 years. How you got a click? First, the first thing you got a bit. You got a girl at the house. You got to do like what? That nigga had a quick fade immediately after the fight. They should have had a fresh line up immediately. Yeah, they should have put like a transformation scene in there. Yeah, seeing him in the bar. Barbara chair at least. Yeah, <laughs> like, nigga, we about to get right, What you finna do, champ? <laughs> finna live my shit up right, right. now. <laughs> and then yeah. this nigga turned psycho quick too. Like, yeah, we was homies yeah. now. I got a gun and shit. Yeah, and fuck you. Like, the, 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 he didn't have a, a gun. He took shit. it from his whole boy. He took yeah, yeah, his boy yeah. and ran up on him. He was like, no, 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 give me this shit. Also, here's a question I've asked, and I I put it on my uh, my my review of it, and I would like to ask you guys as well, and ask the, the listeners and viewers of this: Who in the fuck? applies to be prison photographer. <laughs> also, how do you sign up for your pictures? Because do you sit there and say, all right, I, you remember how when you was a kid, you pay, they give you the strip, all right, I need an eight by 10. That's what I'm saying. Is it like picture day Is in it jail? Picture day? Yeah, it's, because, it's, it's probably like a holiday or something. They probably like Thanksgiving or something. They let you they, take they, a they picture. They got a Santa cap on. Because you can send this shit on. And they got to decide. They, like life's touch is there and they got to decide which package yes, they can get from their commissary. And so like, you and got the watermark. Also, they also hey, hey. moving them around. There's a nigga like, I I need you down here. I need you up here. If you gonna throw up the forks, you throw up this side. You throw up the come on now. Switch it up. Like who the fuck is putting this picture together? Hey <laughs> baby, hey baby, I need you to put some on my books. It's piece of picture day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, which one? I need, I gotta, I need the cut. deluxe package. Nigga, do it. That's and you better put me in your wallet, bitch. I swear <laughs> to fucking God. <laughs> like. Wait, great job. Wait, there is a photo career nigga oh, for wow. Oh my God. Photographer's <laughs> career in prison. Oh no. Nah. They, they need a reality show. Like, do you put that on your resume though? Like, all right, so what'd you do for the past six years? You know what I'm saying? You remember the blood in, blood out photo? I did the real version. <laughs> Holy that. shit. You know what I'm saying? I Just did say the... you're a photographer, bro. You ain't gotta <laughs> yeah. go into detail. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's some of your work? And then all of a sudden you show, you show <laughs> yeah, the like, niggas in jail well, photo. Uh, it's it's just the just photos of niggas in the prison element. Yeah, right. It's I, each nigga just flexing on the bench. Like, like, these niggas got headshots and shit. You taking <laughs> headshots and niggas. I tried to start a with series. A <laughs> I tried to start a series of that where I had stand-ups doing the jail pose with me, but they none of them understand. Then I'm like, yo, pose. do the jail you pose with me. Only the black comics knew what I was nah, talking about. Nah. <laughs> it's like, Wait, I just want to see prison niggas' headshots on billboards <laughs> like real estate agents. <laughs> Yeah, you want to come to cell block D? That's actually, I got the yeah, that's, yeah, that's actually. <laughs> I got the yeah, perfect, funny, I got the perfect stuff. Uh, that's hilarious. hilarious. Make your shit stand out, the headshots. God damn. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, those are must. <laughs> but then, but look, Prison Bay. Yeah, right. Definitely yeah. got mm-hmm. on because of his headshot. Because of his mugshot. Yeah, that nigga yeah. Got, the nigga's career yeah. came from getting locked up. This nigga's showing up in movies and shit. <laughs> like, God damn. Everywhere. But let's go back to Pretty Creed motherfucker. Three. Let's go back to Creed <laughs> yeah. 3. I, I think so, there were certain parts of this story that we were talking about, me and the homies that went, that I didn't, yo, they just left this shit with the daughter fighting in school unresolved as well. For and- well, no, I think they, they resolved it because she saw, you know, the violence wasn't the answer in the <laughs> end or she? whatever. Did she? Well, she, I mean, well, she saw her dad getting beat up. Well, I think, well, well, I think it was that first fight where Felix got beat up. Oh, maybe. Where, yeah. Oh, where, and then when everybody was like, oh, that's too out. much, bro. Yeah, like, that's yeah, not yeah. the, yeah, that's not how we do fighting. You got to fight nobly or something. I think they, right. they kind of touched on it a little well, bit. Yeah. I mean, I'm with you. I think my only real gripe of the movie is that it just, it is abrupt. The third act is yeah, very abrupt. Yeah, a lot of that shit, yeah, lot mm. of that shit is just Hit mama jump, die, jumbled up. And, the, and then it's just like, and how's the fight? And it's like, oh, <laughs> shit. So, I wish he would, I, I wanted, I want Jonathan Major's character to show up at the funeral. <clears throat> 
I feel yeah, like he should have yeah, shown up at the yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, that, showed was, up yeah, that, that was a missed opportunity. Yeah, because yeah, he showed up late or some shit or just ghetto as fuck in a truck with, with a bunch of niggas loud as shit. Right. I nigga, I just want to pay my respects. And then that's well, it. Well, no, because that's not something you get over at, at, by the end of the movie. <laughs> well, that's like, kind of... See, that would have added really... Oh, yeah, would have made... That would have made uh, the, the drama higher because it's like, now this nigga's yeah, emotionally definitely. fucked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Also, you know, the nigga Adonis... When they were sitting in the locker room after the fight, first of all, you just beat the dog shit out of me. We don't yeah. need to sit in the <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. But I need a day or two. I need a we day talk. or two to talk. But Adonis never tells him, bro, that wasn't me. My mama didn't yeah, give me the letters. For, yeah, I was waiting for him to do that. Bro. He was right. like, because basically this shit is all, it's a literally, these niggas have beef over a misunderstanding. Super misunderstanding. neither one of these niggas' fault. Mm. Even though the, 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 what I, who I but laugh. I mean, like he could have went Dan, and visited him, But after though, Dan go in there going on every outlet and shit calling this nigga a fraud and everything, we, we can't be friends no more. No, but Dame, Dame had a point, though. Like, yeah. Michael B. Jordan definitely left this nigga out to dry. Yeah, like, he, you ain't called, you ain't come visit. Nigga, you ain't put nothing on the books for picture day, yeah, nigga. You just, right. <laughs> you just <laughs> left me out there, bro. I couldn't, I couldn't even no, get no wallet size. It was either snack cakes or 8 by 10 nigga. Yeah, you fucked me up, Yeah, definitely left that nigga out there. 100%. Uh... Uh, but yeah, other than that, I, I, yeah, I thought it was you know I thought it was pretty fucking good. Where do you rank them in the the, the three Creed movies? I pr- this is, I'd say it's better than the second one. I like the yeah. first one a lot. The first one is a, is a game changer. The second yeah. one felt like filler a little bit. Well, you know, the second one was when he was fighting Drago. Son, Drake right? Drago. Okay, no, okay. That I did like how all his was, ops came back cool. in this one. He fights the nigga Conklin at the beginning. That was yeah. the mm-hmm. villain for the first one. I gotta rewatch one. him. I think I should probably do a review. Or there you go. Something. I'm gonna drop him on this channel. Also, yeah, his shit. Yeah, yeah, Sylvester yeah, Stallone wasn't viewers. involved in the movie at all, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. I about thought that. this is yeah. the purpose. This is why I thought and I said this. I, yeah. This is why I think he could have fit. You didn't need him in the whole movie, right? Yeah. You start to make this literally about Adonis Creed. Yeah, he ain't show up at the funeral. Asshole. Either the funeral or when this nigga decides he wants to fight him right yeah and he's starting to get trained and duke and all i'm like yo i we need to train we need some help and then he brings in rocky and rocky was like i got somebody to help help me find me a phone call and then all of a sudden then baby drago comes in yeah yeah, yeah. because oh, why yeah. the fuck is baby Dra- you just beat this nigga yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah he was gonna yeah. promote his fight he was gonna promote his fight, but you're like, no, I should. Then this nigga gets mad when they sparring, takes off the headpiece. Baby Drago was like, oh, that's what we doing? Right, 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 right. So that was the one part I felt like to bring the younger Drago in. You could use Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, they for that. definitely. Maybe he was just asking for too much money. Or no, something about yeah. the Urban Family. I no. don't know the whole deal behind the scenes. I think Producio knows. But there was some issues they had that pushed him out of production and everything. Yeah, uh-huh. they definitely could have used him at the end. And yeah, because they he re- helped with the montage and then the Rocky theme. Because like, my thing is, don't reference him then. That's what you know hot. what I mean? Because they referenced Rocky yeah, they once. Did. And that makes you think, oh, yeah, where the fuck is Rocky? And you just, just leave it out entirely if you're going to do it. Uh-huh. Um, but I think well, what I did love about the thesis of the movie, which I, I jokingly <laughs> said midway through it to the person I was with. Oh, this is this movie is basically saying that niggas just need therapy and it unlocks their superpowers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. As soon as they started talking about getting beat up by that old guy mm-hmm. and you know got it off his chest, they all of a sudden he had what it takes to, well, I mean, to yeah, beat that's up John Major. Yeah, you got. Yeah, if your mind is clouded by a bunch of un- other shit, unpack bro, your like, trauma, y'all. Then you could unpack. fade any nigga in the world. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. As, as, a, as a current recipient of therapy, I would like to say it helps to talk to somebody about some shit. Yeah. But do you uh, feel stronger now? I feel, you feel wee, physically stronger. Just a wee bit. Okay. That's <laughs> I feel like up, you know, said after a good therapy session, I can take over the motherfucking world. Let's but go. also, there are times after a good therapy session, I just want to cry, nigga. Because <laughs> you be unpacking shit, you be like, hey, expected to get this goddamn movie. <laughs> like I, I, but I respect the fact that they did that scene with him and Tessa Thompson talking about it. Yeah. Because you have a lot of black men who deal with a lot of shit on the inside they're like i don't want to talk about this shit and their wife is like yo fucking talk well, yeah, to me that that part kind of annoyed me a little bit too because i'm like like she was like a little bit too on him about that shit she <laughs> yeah, was like yeah. i need to understand you open up now nigga and she was like, like i can't imagine doing that to my girl like if she has some trauma in her past or right, whatever right, right. like i'm a i can probably take the context of it and just like know it's fucked up yeah, yeah. and just be here to like make it better Plus, like, what you mean you trying to get to like, know me i don't be like no like, open up tell me exactly what the fuck <laughs> happened right, right now right, like right. i would never do that like that's not what you're supposed to do tell me how the fuck you really feel like, like no you gotta i gotta understand plus we've been married like, for years we got a kid what you talking about i need to know you that's what you 
<laughs> like, I don't want you like this in front of my daughter. Like, he was just like slightly bummed out or whatever. He yeah, wasn't even yeah, like, yeah. he wasn't even doing nothing. He wasn't drunk Martin and Morrow. fucked up and shit. Martin said, when they didn't explain, <laughs> Martin said they didn't explain how Michael B. Jordan's caramel ass and Tessa Thompson's light skin ass had this Ethiopian yeah, look. I was thinking, I was like, yo, is this his kid? I, this yeah, Spanish yeah, yeah. kid? I was, I was a little confused too. I was a little confused. Also, <laughs> Listen, I I don't I'm not a doctor or a geneticist. I don't know if because you have hearing problems, your child is just automatically I mean, deaf and I possibly. shit. Is maybe that she how got it works? Some, well, yeah, maybe she got like some weird condition that like slowly, maybe, but slowly but, affects. But other she shit grown too, and yeah. she can still hear. She's having trouble. She has hearing problems. The yeah, child I didn't know that was, that was, was get, completely deaf. Yeah, yeah. That, that that was the one thing I didn't understand. I was like, okay, is Bianca deaf in this movie? And it was like, no. I'm like, wait. Well, I, understand I think there she are was some slowly children. going deaf or whatever yeah, from whatever the some, condition was. Yeah, yeah. And her kid just had the condition. Just like a red van version. She just yeah, had the I full guess. thing. I, all right. Yeah, sure. All right. Yeah. See how I had to tread carefully. <laughs> <laughs> because it, it's certain things. Yeah. Like, I understand that there are people that the genetics that fall down, understandable, yeah. right? People who have bad eyesight may have a child who's born legally blind. You know, not yeah. fully blind, but legally, you know, what is considered. And so that's kind of understandable. But it was like one of those things that kind of needed to be explained because I was like, did I miss something? Yeah, because I think they, they touched on it in the second one when the baby was born or whatever. The baby, they they knew the baby was born fucked up. Oh, I didn't remember that. Oh, I didn't remember that. Oh, remember that yeah, yeah, they definitely. OK, yeah. all right. All right. So hers, yeah, went, and, so hers too, went quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. so she had the same degenerative disease. Her mom yeah, I remember. Had, yeah, they, yeah, they gotcha. They had a gotcha. whole sad scene in the second one. But then they, 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 just, they were just like, "Oh, I don't perform because I was having a hearing problems." Like it's like you was going deaf in the <laughs> second one. You couldn't hear a damn thing. All of a sudden, I'm good. I just don't perform yeah, no nah, more. Like I'm no, still, no, I'm no. still going deaf, y'all. Yeah, yeah, like nah, bro. Come on. Yeah, how long has it been too since the, <laughs> yeah. since the previous movie? This nigga done went had a whole ass career and yeah, retired and yeah. you still can hear she got happened. a whole she got seven she got gold records yeah. Yeah. she yeah, got a hell of a producer yeah. she, she, just, in this yeah, bitch. she was just pop, she was just starting off right, in right, the right. second movie yeah how Popping long has shit. it been like nigga she got gold like they got a whole in-house studio built <laughs> right but yeah I, yeah overall though still I, I fuck with it I did it too. was just you're not you're not gonna get nothing super deep from a rocky type of movie and shit yeah, like you just but, get your little and it had endorphins those pumping. And first shit. time director problems. That's why I was like, I don't know if this nigga needs. Black yeah, you Panther. don't need nothing like, of that caliber. Yeah, yeah. Know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, just make your own little shit. Yeah, don't make some even, little yeah. shits first. So yeah. let's so let's let's close this off by asking this question. We all know how each of us feel. Would you like to see a Creed four? Yeah, I, yeah, I wouldn't course. mind. Yeah, I wouldn't. What mind. do you want it to be now? It's the daughter fighting now, right? Okay, so we got to go. Ahead. <laughs> so you want the you want the time she jump? Agreed. Yeah, she you want agreed. another time jump where it's now it's the daughter? No, I don't know. I'm just nah, like yeah, yeah. These, I want to make these movies to the end of time. They're just like <laughs> no, no, I, I want to see no, a creed, I get that, but it's like just like with the Rocky movies. Yeah, eventually this nigga can't keep. Well, yeah, because yeah, because he was retired in this and he just came out of retirement to whip Jonathan Majors. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah, is he yeah. out of retirement now? Yeah, this nigga is he back going full, back full right, I'm like, well, I got the belt. Because everybody's shit, like, you old now, nigga. Like, <laughs> right, right. He's, like, he's supposedly too old for this shit. Totally. So. So. <laughs> this nigga Daddy Glover, it's too old for this shit. Yeah, 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 so I don't know what they would do for Creed 4, but I'd be down for it. There you okay. go. Or Club of Lang, so yeah, comes yeah, out and like becomes a hero. Like a or something. Like, they just go. That's a karate nigga. Yeah, that shit be fire. I want Club of Lang to be. That's who everybody thought Jonathan Majors was at first. I did too, yeah. A lot of people was like, that nigga. I mean, they definitely, it definitely was, it felt like a reboot almost of Rocky 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No Hulk Hogan, though. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, he ain't that's what I no, want. I need the son of nigga no Creed. Movie, I need the man. son of Thunderlips <laughs> to <laughs> show the fuck up. <laughs> Thunderlips. Thunder lips. <laughs> you know what? I was gonna throw it to the people that were watching and listening. But I don't know if y'all gonna beat Thunderlips. <laughs> I don't know if y'all gonna beat Thunderlips. Uh, uh-huh. Let us know in the comments if you're watching. Let us know on the podcast. Also, tweet us, hit us on the gram, all that good oh, shit. Oh yeah, I want to thank y'all. By the way, we we put out a on Instagram because we wanted to hit fifty. Uh, five star reviews on Apple Podcasts, and y'all came through like and gang made busters. it happen instantly. We appreciate up, y'all. So our next goal is a hundred, a hundred five star reviews on Apple Podcasts. It helps us with the algorithms. It helps get us to more people. The more reviews we get, the more people hear us, and then the more shit that we get to do. So fuck with us, yo. Five star review. Appreciate that. Yeah.
No doubt. Before we get ready, we're gonna do. Do we got any uh, who wins? I didn't write none down. Okay, no, fine. No, That's no, cool. Okay. No, no. There's a bu- sh- shout out to people in the comments. I saw a bunch of them in the comments. We we'll yeah. probably have to get to those. Oh yeah, I did. Oh, we, we should do that. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's close down, it out so. with that. With what? Looking in the comments we'll, to see what we'll, some people. Let's look say. in the comments and okay, well we can go. Well, while we get in the comments pulled up by producer yo. Yeah, what you got? Uh, Kiki Palmer gave birth <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. and had her child. You yep. know, shout out to her having a successful uh, delivery and the baby's healthy. But it's the baby's name. They got everybody talking. Mm. What's the baby's name? I don't know the baby's name. Whew. Leotis Andrelton Jackson. This nigga named Leotis. That's pretty Leotis. good. Leotis. Holy shit. People tweeted was like, yo, the baby's name sound like a civil rights march. <laughs> <laughs> I said that baby was born with his own mechanic shop in Nally already. <laughs> Well, he's calling him Leo. Is yeah. good. it's all good. Yeah, yeah. I think he's is... named Leotis. Yeah, man. Look, you we all have heard that. wild go ass Leo, first bro. names. What is a wild ass like? Remember, uh, what was it? Gwyneth Paltrow named a baby Apple. Yeah, I mean, Erica Badu's kids are named Seven and a bunch of shit about the equinox uh-huh. and the Earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I met a girl named Special before. I've met two girls named Special. Uh, special a, precious. I've met real precious. preciouses. There's a girl named uh, Precise, like no. spelled exactly no, how Precise. Yeah, spell, spell precisely exactly. like spell it was precisely. Wait, precise. Wait, you said that's a great name. Precise is taking credit. Yeah, it's a level above precious. It's a level above precious. Precise. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah Elon Musk. Like kid. Elon oh, Musk yeah. is a, is a bunch of code. That nigga's yeah, child crazy. name is an equation, You're right? Yeah, this shit. Like, how do you pronounce that <laughs> shit? <laughs> yeah, this nigga got face tattoos. What is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I've, I can make girls named Symphony. <laughs> I met a girl. <laughs> I, I knew a girl named Octavia, and this doesn't sound weird. Like? No, no, but Octavia legitimately had eight kids. Oh, when I met her, that bitch was cursed. I was like, yo. I know niggas named Cleophas. I think we all know a Cleophas. <laughs> I, need- <laughs> I don't know no motherfucking Cleophas. I know you don't Cleophas. know really? Where the fuck you meet a Cleophas? Come on, bro. I grew up in South of the Tent. I, yeah, yeah. Nigga, nah, I ain't ever met no Cleophas. Yeah. All the George that's Foreman's kids shit. are named George. Yeah, that's the crazy. The boys yeah, and that's the girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too. That's crazy. All right, so I know it is some who He's wins in the comments, either this one or our previous one. So we're trying to look in the comments. <laughs> Right there, it's a lot but, of people. Uh, but uh, uh, to, on this oh, wait, subject, so we're gonna do the spelling bee, right? <laughs> well, what well, one point? Because I'm trying to spell Cleophas real quick. <laughs> okay, is it P H or is it F? <laughs> you can't ask that. Okay. You gotta just like try to spell. Right. So Cleo, so F I S. But shouts to Kiki. You know, I mean, look, Kiki ain't ex- what is what is does Kiki stand for something? Uh, let me check. What is her actual Keisha name? And where is she from? She's from the crib. She's from Chicago. Yes, yeah, she is. Okay, mm. so. I mean, yeah, Kiki and ain't just, you know, a name that a lot of people just have off top. So shouts to her for fucking putting uh, something in the zeitgeist that <laughs> you just kind of have to fucking deal with. Yeah, this nigga man. named Leotis. Yeah, what, what you what gonna you do gonna with do? it? Yeah, 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 this nigga's gonna but be it, successful too. <laughs> right. All right, so here you go. Here you go a couple of them Dr. Right Leotis. <laughs> so, <laughs> Leotis. Dr. Leotis. Dr. Leotis. Palmer, MD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What'd you say, Leotis what? Leotis, Leotis Palmer, Palmer MD. MD. Okay, so look. His name is Leotis Jackson. Oh, last we got the daddy's last oh, name. Oh, that's, that's a, even worse. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. So look. <laughs> okay, bet. So look, we we was going to have for y'all a sample today, but we getting the Nan shirts made, y'all, oh, so yeah, that y'all can yeah, order yeah, your yeah, own definitely. National <laughs> Association for, for the Advancement advanced. of Niggas yeah, t-shirt, <laughs> and I think it's only right that Buy we... Buy them at your own risk, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Seriously, seriously. Seriously. Buy them for your own friends. Her full, name is, her full name is Lauren Kiana but, Palmer. Okay, okay work. That's what's up. But look, we also, I think... It also we gonna have to design some for the uh, medical services of Doctor mm-hmm. Leotis Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Leotis Jackson. <laughs> Dr. Jackson. And it's gonna be a shirt <laughs> for his medical name. services. Well, Kiki Palmer gonna send your ass a cease and desist, bro. <laughs> what she gonna do? She don't own the name she, Leotis. She don't know. She, she trademark. trademark. I don't know she that. trademark. She trademark. She trademark. Leotis Jackson. Jackson. The name Leotis. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We doing nothing but merch our producer can't wear. Uh, That's all we doing <laughs> out here, bro. <laughs> Leotis. Leotis. Dr. Leotis Jackson, MD. The offices of Dr. Yeah, Leotis Jackson. Yeah. He, he, he's your orthopedic surgeon, <laughs> your heart specialist, your <laughs> he mechanic. Everything. He can fix shit right out because the dick is named hilarious. Leotis. <laughs> he All right, we do got a couple who will win, so we get up out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, shout out to who, what's the name of that Miles person? Brothers. Miles Brothers in, the, shit, in, one, yeah. in one of our. <laughs> <laughs> it sound like a coffee or a drink. Give me a mouth, brother. Give me a mouth, brother. Put a little Red Bull in this mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, 
That sounds like some hard, some cold shit. That shit, shit. That shit that hit you, bro. Got that Miles brother. You think that Miles brother was white? Ooh, so <laughs> smooth. We was at the Regency West off that Miles <laughs> brother. <laughs> Man, we went to the Hayward on that Miles. All right, so this is what they got. This is what this is what Miles brothers they gave. <laughs> Shit. That shit hard, nigga. That shit hard. What's your name? Uh-huh. Miles Brothers. Carlton from the Fresh Prince versus Steve Urkel from Ooh. Family Matters. Okay. So wait a minute. I have no a question. Gadgets, no gadgets. Okay, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew you was going okay. to right. 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 hey, I already know who I'm giving it to. Fair one? Carlton Banks. Carlton, yep. yeah. Carlton, Carlton, yep. Carlton got some meat on Carlton, him, bro. Got, Carlton, Carlton also got an evil side to him. The nigga, and I was thinking about this. Carlton has done speed before. Carlton <laughs> pretended to be. Carlton got hooked up with niggas, was in the gang at MacArthur Park. McCarthy Carlton been through, is hella soft, though. Don't be trying to hype Carlton up too much, yo. Here's what I'll say, though. Because Stefan could probably. No, no, we say Steve, though. This is Steve, not Stefan. Now, but here's Stephon what I will say cool. there's been two times where Carlton on the show had a physical altercation with Will. One time when they was having the pillow fight, yes. and he was low key tagging the fuck <laughs> out of Will different. before the nigga pretended like his eye was hurt. And yeah. then the other time was when they looked like they was gonna fight, and Carlton had his hands glued to his head oh, yeah. and elbowed the fuck out of the nigga right in the face. So you know this thing kind of got you know yeah, squabbles I mean, he, a little his bit. His records, are, yeah, his yeah, records are right. impeccable. Records it's are impeccable. Right. Steve has no With squabbles record, on there. Yeah, he be getting beat up all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's running. Yeah, they zero don't ever show Carlton really getting beat up out like that. I don't think. No. So yeah, so I think we going off uh, Carlton. Yeah, yeah, Carlton yeah, Banks all day. Right. Stefan though, Stefan again. Nope, give it to nope. You, the battle is not Stefan. Stefan, <laughs> we already know Stefan probably got hands, hey. but then that nigga probably just talk you down. <laughs> Stefan don't seem like he would fight. Like, hey, listen here, bro. <laughs> Why we got to do all this altercations? All, all right. right, so here's the, this one, a good one. Yeah. So next one, we got Jamie King Ooh. from Jamie Foxx show versus Martin Payne. Oh. From Martin, this Fox is show. a tough Ooh, one. This a tough this one. This is a tough one. Because yeah. I mean, look again, Martin. Got was a hands. boxer in the show. Mm-hmm. Got his ass but got it to spread his fear by Tommy Hurts, nigga. But before that, he was beating up the you know the other nigga they had up in there fighting him. But yeah, was, yeah, he definitely yeah, he beat yeah. that big nigga. But what was Jamie King's? Uh, Jamie fame was always like? fighting. Jamie was a singer though, but Jamie would be fighting in a bunch of different random shit. No, yeah. I think he would just be like barking. Like I don't, I think he would like. I don't yeah. think I ever seen him in the Jamie Fox show. But also, how big? How, how, how big is Jamie? Jamie about Martin. an inch or two taller than Martin. Yeah, they're probably about the same. No, Jamie got like really. an inch or two on Martin. But like, there we go. He got some weight on him. And we talking? Uh, do we talking Detroit versus Texas? Tyler, Texas. Mm. Terrell, Texas. Excuse me, Terrell, Texas. Well, if I'm going by just actor personalities, no, no, we, we got to go, go by the character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go by yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. we, we, we I mean, do, nigga, yeah. we already said we do Jamie Foxx versus Martin Lawrence. Is then this is Martin in his prime? Because not Martin. Yeah, this now. is Martin. Yeah, Martin taking us. Martin in his prime. But if you got to go, damn. I'm going with Martin Payne. I'm going Martin Payne. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. Martin was way rowdier. He was Nigga, always Martin ready for Martin set up the burglar when they had Richard, when Rich and Moe was robbing the uh, apartments. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was the nigga was Nino Brown <laughs> yeah. with, the, with the fake. Did y'all hear the story about that? No, nobody know nothing. Nah, what happened? So that? the episode where they was doing New Jack City with the uh, Walkman, they were supposed to, to get a real a real dog. Oh, a real dog. Yeah. oh hilarious! <laughs> they were supposed to get a real, and they couldn't get the clearance. or couldn't get the dog. Hilarious. So the problem is nobody knew but Martin when they gave him the. St- Stuffed one. That's so which funny. Which is why that. everybody's reactions when he first walks in yeah. is them all trying to hold it <laughs> because they were like, what the fuck? That's hilarious. So, man. yeah, so we got a couple other ones out. Yeah. So that was the- <laughs> so funny. Yeah, that's just classic. One wait, 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 wait. Sit, sit. <laughs> Nigga, when Tommy breaks down and he can't hold yeah, it no man. more, how could you? you how the fuck could yeah, you not break? Good, all right, so we got a couple other ones before yeah, we get, get quick, up out of yeah. here. Speed round. I can't see what's that from Master Show Nuff? No, no, no. Uh, Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> no, I'm not saying who gave it to us. Oh, oh Master, Master Show, Show Nuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Show right Nuff. On. That the, name sounds familiar. The Shogun of Harlem, yeah. baby. Last Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Coming to Prim Sims. Yo, nigga. All right, Forrest let's do one of these. Whitaker <laughs> versus Charles S. Dutton. Here's, I already <laughs> know my answer, and this is a solid one. Charles S. Dutton, the nigga went to jail for murder. Yes. Oh, Game over. Real? That's right. <laughs> the That's nigga right. went to jail for murder. I didn't even know In that. In the bro. Battle of Ancient Niggas, well, not that ancient, Morgan Freeman versus Sidney Portier. I'm going Morgan Freeman because he is immortal. Uh, <laughs> 
City yeah, Portier it, had he shoveled off the mortal coil, nigga. That's Morgan hilarious. Morgan Freeman, <laughs> mortal, Morgan Freeman yeah, Morgan yeah Freeman, was born definitely. old as shit. He was like uh, Benjamin Button. You well, you see like him in the Electric Company in the seventies and shit. Yeah, he still Man, he looks seven. Yeah. When they say <laughs> Morgan Freeman's crazy. freckles are like the rings on a tree, I believe <laughs> it, nigga. <laughs> shit is in, Oh wait, yeah, look. Young Morgan this nigga Freeman. typed in yeah. Young Morgan Freeman. Yeah, right. Look at this nigga. He's 40, still 14 old years Morgan old right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's this, still an old nigga. Yeah, yeah this nigga is, way, yeah, this is a he's civil 30, rights activist. He's nigga. 37 That's what years old in 1954. Morgan Freeman. God That's his damn. kindergarten picture, bro. I look younger than this nigga right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that's the youngest picture you can find, too. That's oh, crazy. This nigga don't have no baby Also, pictures, the bro. youngest picture of Morgan Freeman is in Sketch. Yeah. They drew that to draw. Yeah. All right, what's the James Earl Jones versus Samuel L. Jackson? Huh, the God motherfucker damn. versus Musta- Mufasa. Oh, Samuel L. Jackson whooped this nigga ass, bro. Yeah. This nigga hit the pipe or whatever. <laughs> I don't want, no, that's fucked up. I'm sorry, bro. Let him make, I ain't made it. Well, Sam, though, Sam a skinny ass dude, though, bro. Young yeah, James Earl like Jones was like, yeah, like young James Earl Jones was George like, Foreman. Yeah, nigga yeah, King Joffrey Joe Fern. Yeah, yeah. Rula that's a bad Zimone. nigga, bro. <laughs> the, the voice of Darth Vader. Nigga? Yeah, yeah. That's a, I gotta go. I think James Earl Jones and that nigga was in the Conan movie and threw it. He used a snake as an arrow. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bad. Yeah, that's James Earl Jones. Yeah, James Earl Jones, yeah, James Earl Jones put him in a headlock. He put that nigga to sleep. And yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Samuel L. Jackson, you stupid motherfucker. Right, y'all see. Good fellas, but then yeah, Sam's yeah. teeny, but then bro. Samuel L. Yeah, Jackson gets to pull out his grape flavored lightsaber, right? And like, <laughs> yeah. it's even uh, Justin Bieber versus Harry Styles. I mean, I think all I think Bieber's toughness is all cap. I see through yeah, the tattoos, and yeah, the we bullshit. see through Bieber. I think Harry Styles is British, he gonna bust your ass, dog. These <laughs> niggas, they, European niggas fight till they burger meat. Excuse me, what? <laughs> they don't, they can't, you just, they just, you keep <laughs> punching them. Burger meat? Yeah, they keep yeah, punching them, they keep tough. coming, bro. This one's going to be a whack fight. This one's tough, though. This one's it's going to be a lot of glitter, glitter and sparkles. <laughs> it's got stupid. It's a lot of glitter, sparkles, and teenage screams. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this last one, and then we get out of here on this one. <laughs> I'm, I'm only laughing because I know what I'm going to say. It's going to be fucked up. Lil Kim versus the brat. Now, are we talking about Lil Kim current face or Lil Kim old oh, face? Yeah, I think it's previous face. <laughs> yeah, Lil I think we're talking Junior Mafia yeah, first album. Yeah, previous, <laughs> previous update. Hardcore Lil Kim. Yeah, I th- Not yeah. the recent iOS update Lil Kim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the brat. I think the. I don't know because the brat is not really like. Take, it's, I, Nigga, is look, she like a lesbian? Or she's a she is now. Is she a stud? stud? She was, she was, she was, she was like, bisexual for a while. I now. thought she's, that was just cap. No, no, okay, no, no. Here's okay. the beautiful thing about me going, this is why I'm going to Brad. The Brad is a 48 year old stud carrying a baby. <laughs> <laughs> that is the strength of a woman. Look, it already takes a lot for a woman to carry a child. Hey, man. But and when you're a high risk age to carry a baby, yeah, and you still out here doing everything you can, brat all day, bro. But you want to talk about strength? This bitch had Biggie on top nigga, of her, bro. <laughs> you know what? That, that's... And she she was still that shit, dog. This nigga was she was still that shit. This big ass, you know what that's mean? That's true. God damn. Hey, Where's the brat from? Is she from Chicago? Atlanta or oh, Chicago. Chicago. She's from the West Side. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Nigga said, "Look, him. She wins because she handled that's the notorious Big." And missionary. That's right. That's, that's yeah. That's, that's I not. Think, a, I think the brat would fight like a dude as though. Yeah, but I again, think little Kim had again, that's a three hundred pound missionary. man just fucking you just, know plowing whoa, away. Whoa, you know whoa. what I mean? She probably Shit. won't go down easy. No, I think no, she's going definitely down. Not. No. I think the brat's taking that. I still give it to the brat, yeah. bro. She I had to get so. his nigga head with his belly Come all on top of her back. Shit. So that's toughness, dog. That's toughness. No, but she's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's like a submissive I gotta, I gotta position. But she also got the anger in her because she had to watch her man yeah. fuck this light skinned chick and marry her. Mm-hmm. And she's still, you know, I think there's an anger there. I think she, I, I don't think it's a walk in the park. Yeah. That's Listen, that, that's it. We're done. That's, we, that's episode 11. We, we've made it another week in this motherfucker. <laughs> Somebody said, we got to do that one. Uh, for White History Month, do Jeff Epstein versus Harvey, Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein. Wait, Wait, did you say White History Month? You mean every <laughs> other fucking month? That's what uh, they said. We'll March, do, April, May, June, yeah, July, August, yeah, September, October, it. November, so, yeah, December, we got January. Time, baby. Yeah, we'll, we'll do, do that next week. We'll do it next week. Jeffrey Epstein versus Harvey Weinstein. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, you know how we thought we were getting canceled last week? That's the battle's going to yeah, get us yeah, canceled yeah, for sure. Before we get about it, man, y'all already know the drill. Let's do it. Let's see how they can find us. Prim Cinema, Moses Prim on all the other social medias. Prim Cinema on you. 
YouTube, man. Check out all my other videos everywhere. I'm going to start putting uh, videos on this channel, man. I think I'm going to go through with that Creed, all the all three Creed movies. Okay. I'm going to do the review. All right. You do a, like a retrospective of a, of yeah, a franchise. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and like that. throw that up there. Bet. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris underscore, please. Um, man, I'm about to try some shit that I've, I've never thought I would ever do before. So no, nah, hell, no, hell no, hell no, hell no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to be selling ass for y'all. No, no, no. But I'm, I'm working on it. So I want to get a little further along before I announce it, but just be, it's going to be interesting. I'll put it that way. But Chris underscore, please on all the social media things, hit me on Twitter right now. That's what I'm focusing on to Twitter. So let's, let's talk about some movies and shit, man. I'm trying to focus on growing this TikTok now for some fucking reason that mm -hmm. I have to, because that's how you get jobs and keep certain people in your corner. Uh, TikTok.com slash at Mr. J Washington, but Instagram, Mr. J Washington, Twitter, Mad Titan Podcast, everywhere you get your podcast from. I talk Marvel and DC TV shows and movies. That's about it. We'll be here next week. If you want to email us, the email link is in the description. Uh, give us that rate and review on whatever pod, pod, podcast platform that you are listening to. Share the shit out of this, y'all. Share this to everybody. Shout out to the people that just randomly hit us up that are fans, people that have known us that all of a sudden find out about it. We appreciate all y'all. To our producer, yo, in the building, we appreciate you. Petty Cash Studios. We'll holler at y'all next week. We out. Bye. Yes, sir. Peace.